just because one person has Lagos in his pocket does not mean APC is synonymous with Lagos K. Buckner. With Lagos K. Buckner. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The former Deputy Governor of Lagos State Senator Koferwarola, Koferwarola Buckner has shared her opinion concerning the 2023 general election, pointing out that the People's Democratic Party has a chance at the upcoming general election due to the past experiences of the All Progressive Congress, APC. The Deputy Governor to Bo Governor Bola Tenebo between 1999 and November 2003 revealed her experience with him while serving as his deputy, pointing out that she was treated in the way she expected to be treated based on the fact that she worked hand in hand with the former governor of Lagos State to win the election. Speaking in an interview with Channel Television, she said, Well, I was never close to him. We were together in the Senate and we fought for the restoration of June 12th, and I was his deputy. But certainly, if the way he treated me when I was his deputy governor was the way he would treat somebody who is very close to you, then I think he lived much more to his desire. APC is not synonymous with Lagos, and Lagos cannot be synonymous with APC. Just because one man has Lagos in his pocket does not mean the All Progressive Congress is synonymous with him. Is synonymous with Lagos. I don't really get her point. Well, uh, I don't really get where she's coming from. Is she saying okay, the kind of rulership or leadership going on in the All Progressive is not the same? That is actually what is going on. Okay, I think I now understand where she's going to. I think I now do. Yes, I think I do. She's coming from the fact, say, Tunubu, without Tunubu, they go to the election. Permits me to say, you know, go hold. Without them getting somebody, Tunubu approval, they go to the election, no go hold. So she's saying it is not the same thing that should happen in the progressive, which means I think it is in connection. Mio, I'm saying what I, I feel she's talking about. I feel she's saying this because of the Muslim Muslim ticket, which is some people not agree for the progressive, and he still went ahead to pick it. That is where I'm saying this. Yeah, let's, let's hope that I'm correct. Nigeria is too big for Tsunambo's pocket. Nigeria will tear Tsunambo's pocket. Hmm. Don't worry, when you wake up from your sleep, you will tell us how far. Both Baba Geda and Abdul Salam did pocket Nigeria and rubbish Christianity with the evil military constitution by M. M. Jordanin Mislam. What has happened now? Oh, okay. Peter B. for better Nigeria, please don't insult. Those of you that like insulting evils about Peter B., don't because I'm from Benway TV by tribe, but I'm, I'm tired of the failed government. Of the past p2b for better nigeria this old woman is an ingrate she's an ingrate because she's not supporting the muslim muslim ticket sincerely i keep asking myself thank god see god no be manu what would have happened if god say because i have been giving you breath you have not been paying eh? then anything i say you must do you do it God is even loving and merciful to us. In fact, you see people he gives life. You see people that have never gone to the hospital for the past four or five years. He commit all sort of atrocity. People go even kill people, ask them for forgiveness, and he go forgive. Hey? Huh. Now wow, thank God to God no be man. If not, yawa for don gas. This old woman is an ingrate. Who do you have during June twelfth struggle? What role did she play instead of being grateful to a person who made that deputy she's spraying rubbish out? So she now had to she be grateful by selling her conscience, by saying what is wrong is right. Because I don't understand this attitude of, you know, you have to be grateful. First of all, without me saying it is good to, you know, be kind to those who helped you, don't forget them. But not when they are doing the wrong thing. Not when they are doing the wrong thing. To me, she has picked her side and it is clear. That is why she's coming out to say to um the Lagos is not a PC. Lagos is not a PC. You have to listen to people and it, in politics it is different it is in that manner. You don't force whatever you feel is going to be good down people's throat. You have to listen to people. And that is why I'm even saying 
the way where this thing they even play gone, it tells a lot of the future. How sure are you people that if this man tomorrow, let's say by let's say by chance, let's say for instance, now let me just say I'm just saying that he wins the election. I'm just saying nobody should come from you and then you know he wins the election. Does it now mean this man will not listen to you? What Nigerians have to say because that is what it implies. It means he's not going to listen to what Nigerians have to say at all. He would not. He'd rather do what he wants to do, whether it is good for the country or not. And it is not good. Hmm. In fact, you can ask us to be grateful to Tunumbu for the air we breathe. <laughs> You're a crazy clown. Hmm. He people thought that all Nigeria is APC, if not Magomago. APC will not win any seat in the government because they have frustrated Nigeria. And I tell you, this is the truth and nothing but the truth. If you are going to be calling the APC clearly in this next election, calling them out and not their candidates, huh, I don't know what APC will use to campaign. Should I talk about the insecurity in town? Is it the fact that children have been sitting at home for four months or more? Is it the fact that our health sector is nothing to write home about? Is it a fact that our economy is decaying on a daily basis? Is it a fact that we have inflation rising every two to seconds? All those things are more. All those things are more. Do I need to say more? No. It is crystal clear that this APC government has brought more tears and smiles to the faces of Nigerians. And only if Nigeria is a sane country, only if, not, only if this stomach infrastructure and pocket infrastructure will allow some people be, I tell you, some people will prefer that we we'll go back to even PDP. Imagine people are now saying, Let, take us back to PDP then. They were telling people then in PDP that people were suffering. Now people are like, you know what, we like that so far. Take us back there. They're the one that will not cry. They're the one that will cry, not also. That was how we won them against this government in 2015. They did not listen. Everyone supporting this evil government. Okay, never reach like that again. They are, they are telling us now, leaving much more to his desires. Power jungle. Exactly. Democracy is of the people, by the people, and for the people. The people say they no one wants Muslim to get. Why don't you honor their wish? It is like telling them that when that time comes, you will listen to them again. But if you are not listening to them now, I can see... I hope that everyone can see the message and see the handwriting on the word clearly. Person will get here, making heal. On those notes, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.